Hi, Nicole here, and today's video is all about how to embed a video onto your website. Now, as a brand photographer and videographer, I am crafting marketing videos for my clients, and they just can't drop them onto their website. There needs to be an extra step, and I am often walking my clients through this process, so I thought I would create a video for you just in case you're running into that same situation. And many times the clients I'm working with, they do not have a marketing representative in their business, nor do they have a marketing team. So they may have someone who helps them manage their website and maybe they DIY their website too. But most of the time they will have someone that manages their website no matter what the situation, well, whether they're doing it on their own or they have someone to manage their website, they need to do step one. Step one is they need to set up an account and have a channel on either Vimeo or YouTube. I often, since I have a YouTube channel, I'm often walking people through the YouTube channel process, which is pretty simple, going in your Gmail, creating an account, and now they have an established third party spot where they can upload videos and they can build out graphics and info and if they wanted to create more videos down the road for YouTube, now they have a starting point. But really we just need them to create the page in order to upload the video that we just worked so hard making so then they can either get a share link or an embed code. And that is what we need to put onto the website. So that is a step that the website designer needs, that code, or if they're doing it themselves, for example, I manage my website, I use a show it platform, and I just use the shared link to then attach it to whatever page I want. So how do they do that? So once we create a video, my process is, that I will add it to a Dropbox folder. So then they will have access. So now they can download it to their computer. They can set up their YouTube page and then they can go through the process of you manage videos, you upload the video that I or you have just created. They can create a description or a title and then they go through the process. It's not made for kids if they want to add tags to it, but they may not want it searchable. So I'm not really concerned so much about all the different pieces of the setup behind the scenes. The key is at the very end, so they're going to click the next screen at the bottom right, go through the whole process of if they want an end card, they may be wouldn't be doing any of that because this could be the very first video that they're adding to the platform. At the very end, there's an option to have it public, to have it unlisted, to have it private. Now, if they don't want anyone to see the video on the third party platform like YouTube, they can unlist it. And then anyone who has a link so that's where we're going to next. Anyone that has the link, they can see the video. If they want it private, that's just private to their page, but we want a link. So once they either have it public, if they want to have it out there on their page, great, or unlist, if they just want whoever has that code to see it, they will then publish. Once it's published, underneath the actual video, when you play it in YouTube, you will have a share button. And when you click on the share button, another page will pop up and it gives you all different options on how to get that code that we need for the website. So I go to two places. If you're a website designer or you're working with a website designer and they want an embed code, you will click on the button embed it will capture that code. You could copy and paste that in the email, depending on how you're communicating with your, with your web designer. 
or you can click on share and that will give you a share link as well. So as I mentioned, I use the platform Show It. So I am going into the back end, choosing YouTube video and just copying and pasting that code into the field. And then now it will be on my website. So if you're finding this video helpful and you're wondering about all these steps and how to communicate this with your clients, in the description below, I have a free PDF that kind of walks through all these things. I've had to create this many times for my clients, so I'm extending it to you. If you want a nice, easy way to explain this to your clients or even provide it to your clients, this is, these are the steps that they need to take. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love this next one. It's all about how to think about adding video into your brand photography business, and I'll see you there.